<sighs> hey, how are you two? Today we're going to review the Arma Fire Team. My name is Santiago Salinas and this is the Stuff RC. The Fire Team platform was released around a year ago. Yes, I know, it's a little bit old. Yet, it's new for me and I want to share this review with you. So let's start with the unboxing. Sorry guys that I couldn't show you a proper unboxing, but this thing is massive, it's so huge. Um, so I don't have enough, enough space to, to properly handle it. So let's start getting rid of this plastic. Look at this beauty. This is a white camo. I would say that it's a little bit uh, silver for me. Uh, not exactly white, but still so nice. Um, you can also get it on, on black camo that by the way, I also have it. Uh, actually, if you want to change this, this color, uh, you will have to buy two separate panel sets. Uh, one of them, the part number is the ARA411023 and the other one is the ARA411018. I really like these guys right here. Uh, as you can, I don't know if you know it, but a fire team is a, a small uh, unit that actually uh, Normally they use them for a special mission. That's the reason why they use that name for this truck. I really like to see that Arma uh, is giving us something more, I would call it scale, um, because I really like it. That's the reason why I built crawlers and I really love the crawler work because it's something a scale. So to see a basher like this, I really like the, that, that fact. These guys are a little bit articulated. They can move their rifles. Uh, I don't know if you're able to see them, but this, this, these guys are, they have rifles, uh, you can move their arms, as I said, you can move their heads too, um, pretty nice, I really like them. They have, they put a lot of, they put a lot of stickers inside here, actually, uh, let me see if I can show it, show them to you. Right here, you can see there is plenty of, of stickers. That's nice. Uh, so the tires, guys, the tires, are, the tires are pretty unique. It's the first time I see something like this. Uh, um, uh, they have like a, this honeycomb pattern right here. Uh, the grip looks good in my, uh, from my point of view. They, are, they, they have foam inside. Uh, so pretty cool. Actually, they look like a military tires, to be honest, which is great. These are uh, 6.5 inches uh, tires, if I'm not wrong. So they are they are huge. Look 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 at my hand. The body actually is being held by three body clips. Hey, I'm a, I'm not a big fan of the body clips. Uh, I would love to see something different, like uh, like uh, the Traxxas system that actually use pull a, a lever. But still, it, it is okay, right? Um, this. These lighters right here, actually, they feel quite uh, flexible, which is good because remember this is a basher, so you don't want and you don't want to have something real because it will break. So flexible is good, uh, as well as all these. Um, I'm gonna call it a, a skeleton. All this skeleton also feels um, quite uh, flexible, which is great. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Um, so what about the bumpers? The bumpers also a little bit flexible. It's what we are looking for, for a basher. Same story here, I think. Yeah, same story here. Pretty, 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 pretty great. Maybe I forgot to mention what is inside the box. So we will receive an SLT3 transmitter. Uh, it is not a smart transmitter. That's a, that's a thumbs down for me. We will receive, uh, of course, the, the user manual. The user manual. Uh, and a sticker sheet. Um, we are receiving a, a weapon, I think. <laughs> so no, this is the range. Pretty cool, by the way. I really like them. Um, I really like it, actually. Pretty nice. Uh, we are receiving some uh, spacer for the for the chucks. Uh, what else? We are receiving uh, oh, some shimmings. So this is for the differential. Apparently, we will have some some uh, wear on the differential, so they are giving you some chimps in order to install them what is necessary and to have pretty pretty much everything in in its place. Finally, we are receiving a high speed gear, and so pretty much that's it. And of course, you are receiving the truck itself. Okay, 
let's see what is inside of this body wow so look at this look at this body so nice there is plenty of bracing inside of it uh, i would call this is like the oh, yeah. exoskeleton um so um Oh, there is a there is a, a really nice foam right here to absorb the, the impacts. Uh, what else? We have these these uh, small uh, mounts are where where the where the body actually clips with the as well as this one where the body clips with the actual chassis. And by the way, what what happens here is once you install this thing, the whole the, the body becomes one one piece with the with the chassis making making it really strong so it will be re, this will be great to receive a lot of abuse a lot of impacts so that is great so it's pretty real guys I, I really like what I see I, look look at that that interior is pretty 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 nice uh, as I mentioned there is plenty of uh, stickers inside there so they are tr they are actually put Arma put a lot of effort to, to give us something, I would call it semi-scale, really, really, really nice. I like it. I, I have to mention once again, these are really interesting panels. Uh, they are pretty aggressive, the way they look. Really nice, really, really nice. The, the, far, the Arma Fire team is based on the Mojave platform, so which is a proven platform. So what it gives you is a, is a, is a, a huge wheelbase um, that will give you a stability. But they gave us the width of the Kraton. So this thing will be extremely, extremely stable and will, will be great. I expect that will be great for, for, for jump and receive a lot of abuse. So first let's go with the electronics. Number one, as expected from uh, Horizon Hobbies, they, they are giving us with the Arma, they are giving us a lot of spectrum electronics with in my opinion they are pretty good so i don't have any complaints there so first the esc they are giving us the firma a 150 esc so this is this is capable to run, run on 4s and 6s yes. so in addition i see a capacitor right here what is what, what these capacitors do is that they, they they allow the the the, the ESC to, to give us the maximum capacity of, of uh, that is capable of. Then, so now for the servo, they are giving us the S six five two servo once again from Spectrum. Um, let me check what is the spec of this servo. I already checked, and this servo will give us. 230 ounces of torque running on 6 volts or 250 ounces of torque running at 7.5 volts I think the setting that right now it has, this ESC has is a run on 6 volts so we are getting 230 so for the handbrake they are giving us a next 650 this is a, a this is not a great servo, this is a plastic gear servo. Yet, what I have read, I'm not a mix expert on this, is that you don't, you don't need to apply that much force uh, on the differential in order to, to get locked and, and just break the, 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 the rear wheels. The reason why you want to do that is pretty much uh, for drifting or to make like a, those nice, those nice uh, turns in the, in, in, on the dirt or, or the sand. Uh, say that all the wiring looks pretty neat oh and i almost forgot about the the motor the motor comes with a fans and this huge heat sink uh pretty pretty cool this is a kb a brushless motor a, this is a not censored a motor this motor is huge it's massive so um uh, I'm expecting that this thing will be a beast. Yeah. What else? For the batteries, uh, this already comes with the plug, with the uh, uh, EC5 plugs, smart ones, uh, by the way. So you can decide to go for just one battery in the case you, you need two, uh, you can remove this jumper. So on this side, uh, we have the battery tray um, with a Velcro, Velcro straps. I'm okay with the Velcro strap, but um, I would love to see Arma giving us a, a better a better system this is just annoying uh, you can see i mean you can you can fit right here huge batteries right in my case i would not run two uh, 3s batteries uh the front uh, 
middle and rear uh, diff, I think they are pretty easy to remove. It's expected from Arma, they are great, giving us uh, a really easy, really easy system to give maintenance. Uh, what else? We have a five millimeter millimeters uh, tower shocks, uh, which is great. I mean, this this is plenty of these. These are crazy thick. I mean, this, 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 these are pretty strong. And they are giving us this pretty nice bar right here in the middle that pretty much what it does is keep the, boy, the chassis straight in, in order to avoid any blending. All so, the aluminum parts of this truck actually are a BXV that is like a, the extreme basher line of, 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 uh, of Arma, that's great. That's, we have sway bars in the, in the, in the, in, 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 in this, in this, in this arms, which is great for stability. The chocks, the chocks are massive guys. Is they are, they look so nice. Uh, I mean, we have plenty of articulation here. So. The steering servo comes with the, with the a metallic uh, servo horn. That's also a plus. Um, even though they are not giving us a, a smart transmitter, they are giving us a smart receiver. They are giving us the Spectrum SR315. So um, if you have a, a, an Spectrum smart uh, transmitter, you can you can uh, bind it with this with this receiver, and there you go. You have a smart platform. What? Well, let me see down there. So we we are getting a. Pretty nice uh, aluminum uh, skill plate, so nice. But before we start our running time, I want to show you the batteries we're gonna use with this baby. So I decided to buy uh, uh, the batching line of James Ace batteries. These are uh, 8,000 uh, milliamp batteries uh, with um, 100 Cs. Um, let me show them to you. These batteries are pretty cool. As I said, they are made for bashing, so they are they have a hard cover. Um, and actually, I'm extremely curious to see if uh, if both of them will fit in this in this cage. Let's see. These things fit perfectly. I mean, even though they are massive. And let's have some runtime with this thing.
So guys, this is a beast. So much fun driving this truck. This platform is amazing. Um, first, I have to mention is it is so easy to drive it. I mean, it, when you are handling it, it's so easy to turn. I mean, you with this thing, you can go at full throttle, full speed, and you turn, and it won't, it, it won't flip. It's so, so much easy to handle it. I mean, anyone, even without experience, will be, will be able to drive this platform, which is great. That, that makes it a, like an, a, an amazing platform because, as I mentioned, it's meant to be used by any person. <laughs> so much fun. Um, how it jumps. I mean, when you jump with this thing, just to see this massive truck flying, it's just, wow, it's a mind-blowing thing to see. And when it lands, it's even crazier because, once again, it has the length of the Mojave and the width of the crater. So it is so stable. So when it lands, it lands like nothing. It is so easy to land with this thing. Um, for people that actually likes to make all those tricks that actually you make some turns in the, in the, in the air, I think this won't be the best platform because I said, I said since it's, it is so long, right? It gives you stability and you don't need a stability to make all those tricks. So, but once again, you, I, I'm pretty sure you will be able to do it if you, if you put some, uh, some uh, head on it, right? Um, so what else guys, um, let's, let's, ah, there is something, as I mentioned, this thing, once you install the body in the chassis, this thing, it becomes like a, I call it an exoskeleton, right? Like a, like a beetle. So it is extremely solid. I mean, it's extremely resistant. So this thing will, will take a lot of abuse. I have to say, I'm not, and I am not someone that likes to destroy, I don't like to destroy my trucks. I, I like to drive them and to enjoy them, right? I don't think there is a way to break this truck. I'm telling you, I made crazy jumps today with it and, and nothing happened everything is, is is good so what i was telling you about this body as i mentioned once you once you 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 put these clips on it it becomes a it becomes like a cha the chassis in the body becomes a whole so as a just one body so that's extremely as i mentioned resistant but this thing because of the shape it has is really good also to absorb impacts right and but when you flip, yeah, actually this thing, this shape works like a, as a ball. So it starts once, if you flip, nothing will stop it. And remember, this thing is crazy fast. So much fun. So that's something you have to know. So let's jump, let's jump inside here. So the electronics, uh, I don't know, I don't know who is working on this inside, uh, the Arma, uh, the uh, Arma brand, but the one who designed or who decided to use this ESC and this motor for this platform, he's a genius. It feels that this ESC and this motor are meant to be used in this platform. You have to see it in light in order to to appreciate what this thing can do in the power it delivers. I mean, it's just crazy. How I felt I, every time I pulled the trigger, I, I start smiling just to see how insane this thing is. The steering servo, I was a little bit concerned, I have to accept, because normally the stock servos are not the best ones, and, and since I felt the, the weight of this of this truck is pretty heavy, um, I said like I don't know this servo will 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 deliver the amount of power required for something like this. I couldn't be more wrong. I mean the servo works great for this truck. It is fast enough. It has plenty of power. So I never felt that there was like a lack of power in my steering. So good i mean great servo i mean great shoes uh, uh, arma the handbrake the handbrake i have to say 
I'm not a big fan. Uh, I used it a couple of times while I was running the truck. Uh, not a big fan, but it works pretty well. When you press this, the third channel in the transmitter, it is pretty responsive and it's super fun to see how you make those extremely sharp uh, turns uh, with the with the once you apply the, this handbrake. I didn't experience any 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 overheating neither from the motor and, and or any of the electronics. They work pretty well. For I think right now the, the price runs for around 650. I, I have to I will say. I think it's a great price for this platform. So, but it's not perfect. And here is the big, the big, the big con I have about this, this, um, this, this truck. Well, there is two. The first one is, as I mentioned, if you flip and because of the way, the shape of the body, you, you will never stop. But the other one is that, look at this play I got from the, from the, in the, in the, in the front tires. You see? So uh, remember this, this is my first run with this truck. So I went uh, to visit my, my friends from uh, Hurricane Hobbies to ask them like, uh, what do you think about this stuff? And so they gave me a, a good news actually. I mean, the only thing I have, you have to do uh, to fix this problem is in this uh, buckle, I'm gonna call it like that, there are uh, some screws, some hex screws that actually you have to tie them and though that, that would get rid of that play. So besides that guys, um, I don't have anything else to say in a negative way. For a little bit more of $600, this is an amazing platform. Uh, as I mentioned, extremely easy to drive. So if you are, you are not that, that experienced and you want to buy something like this, don't be afraid to buy this, this truck. For me, it's the best way to go for any, if you are in any level of experience. I mean, it's impressive, extremely resistant. I really love the body, uh, plenty of power, plenty of fun, make crazy jumps with it. So it is an amazing platform, guys. Thank you for watching. My name is Santiago Salinas and this is the Stop RC. See you next time. Take care, bye.